Alright guys, my name is Dave and today we're going to be uh, doing a video on how to set up, calibrate the Scan Anything camera on the Extreme Plasma CNC table. So let's get to it. Okay, so first thing you're going to want to do is get the camera. This is the camera mounting, this peg. Just goes into this little hole. Push that, push fit onto that peg. Now make sure the camera's all the way down to the bottom of this knurling handle part. This is actually your, um, your focus for the camera. We'll, uh, I'll show you how to focus that in in a second. But you just literally put that on the peg and then plug the USB into the back of your uh, PC. Once you've got the camera mounted in the position that it should be, you should, uh, in the back of your uh, assembly manual you'll have a piece of paper like this template for calibration and scanning and when you put this on the table you can't just put it anywhere to calibrate it put it square to the table somewhere like that you have your paper level parallel with the table and what you want to actually do is unscrew this little locking screw and then that will allow you to twist the camera if you watch on the screen, when you twist the camera, you see how it moves left and right, and you want that to be parallel. So once that's parallel, you can nip up the uh, the screw, just tighten, just nip that up. So now you've got the camera running parallel to the table. We've moved the, uh, the camera over the, the dot and what you want to do is at the top here it says original processed image mask mixed click the mask that brings it up a white and a black background this is the best one to calibrate it to so click calibration the black dot lights up with a blue ring around it and the camera has got a green ring around it so what you want to do is put that over one another and then simply click run and it's now going to calibrate itself to that blue dot so the camera is now moving around the table Locking onto that black dot. And that's it calibrated. So now you can click off mask onto the original image. And what we'll do is we'll uh, Jog over to the test square. So this is the test square line. And what it'll do is it'll lock on either the inner or the outer edge. So there it's locked onto the inner edge of the square. If you move over a bit more, it'll lock onto the outer edge of the square. So depending on what you want to cut, the inside of the outside edge, that's how you lock on, you just move it from left to right. So this is now locked onto the inner edge of the square. We'll click run and it will trace that square. Now depending on how fast you have the feed rate servo gain will determine on how clear the square will actually trace. If you have it running too fast, you'll have really jagged edges. If you have it running too slow, obviously it's going to take a longer time to trace. But sometimes having it running slow creates a lot of vibration through the camera. So you have to fine tune it to find the sweet spot. There you go, now it's traced that image, 
it'll ask you do you want to keep this traced edge if you click yes and then how you actually save that to a DXF is if you go up to the file click file click save and then give it a name so we'll just call it test test one click save and then what that will allow you to do now is open open sheet cam and then in sheet cam you click file import there it is there test one open okay and that's the test square there you can see it's not far off being pretty bang on to be fair there's a little bit of a jaggedness around a couple of the edges but what you can do now is if you uh, we'll close that close Mac 3 down open up e-machine shop so there's the test test square that we did if we try and drag that and drop it into e-machine shop it comes up with abnormal program termination so what you have to do to be able to edit this file is um, open it up in open it up with QCAD so if you right click on it open with go down to QCAD click that and it'll open it up in QCAD So there it is opened up you can see the edges aren't perfectly square so if you go up to the floppy disk icon click save and then you can close QCAD down now if we go back into eMachine shop we should be able to uh, drag it and open it in eMachine shop so there you go and now you can straighten up any stray lines, manipulate it, resize it, do whatever you want with it. And then obviously you just click save and uh, it's ready to cut. So what we'll do now is I'll, uh, I'll show you how to trace around something, a drawing of some, some objects and then we'll cut one out. Now, what we'll do is uh, trace around my hand, just holding it steady, we're just going to trace around it with the sharpie. like that we'll just freehand it on the bottom just to join them up so we'll scan that with the camera and then uh, open it up in sheet cam and cut it out now we've opened up Mac 3 again we can open the uh, scan anything program we'll jog the camera to the to the edge the inside edge of the hand drawing and there you go, it's locked onto the inside edge. So we can scan that now. So now it's asked us if we want to keep this traced edge. We'll click yes. Go to file. Save. And we'll just name it as hand. 
save that. Now we can open up sheet cam. Go to file in sheet cam. Import. Hand open. Okay. And there it is. Now that's probably good enough just to cut. So to cut it just a little magic wand, click that, select our material thickness, 2mm mild steel, ok, you can save, save G code, ok, and we'll go back into Mac 3, load G code so now we've got it loaded up and it's saved the G code we need to remember to remove the camera from the peg also it's got LED lights on the bottom of it and this control that's on the wire there's a toggle switch on the side which does your brightness as well, so that's pretty cool. So now we can disconnect the camera. And then we'll uh, we'll cut this hand out. So you can see there's our original traced image of the hand. That's what we've just cut out. As you can see it fits bang on around them lines, which is handy. Okay. So that's it guys, that's uh, how you set up, calibrate the scan anything camera on the extreme CNC plasma table. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Till next time.